coming home after everything we've been through. Hold on, Antonio. Luis, I know you're angry with your brother because you think this is his fault. But he had no way of knowing about Teresa's How execution. How could he not know? It's been in the news everywhere. And if he had been here, maybe Teresa wouldn't be lying in a coffin. Are you sure everything's okay there, Mama? You sound kind of strange. No, no, it's just hearing your voice. I'm glad you're coming home, son. Well, that makes one of us. Un momento, mijo. Luis, I don't understand this anger with your brother. I told you. Antonio should have been here for Teresa. He should have been here for all of us. Luis, I am sure that if he would have known what was at stake, he would have been here. Now, I am asking you, por favor, don't let your feelings get in the way of my reunion with Antonio. I, I, I need to be with my firstborn son. Please, now more than ever. All right. I'm sorry. I promise I'll try and behave, okay? I'm here, Antonio. Phyllis. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, who did you think it was? I don't know. For a second, I thought you were Teresa. Oh, I'm sorry. It's only me. I, I didn't mean to scare you. No, don't be silly. I I don't know what I was thinking. I just wanted to see if you needed anything. I feel so terrible. Your sister was very good to me. She was my favorite Mrs. Crane. Thanks, we, we, we have everything we need. Hearing from Antonio is the answer to I know you said you didn't need anything, but Cook wanted to make you something special. She loved Teresa, too. You know, why don't I go and take this out under the terrace? Okay. Thank you. I didn't want to say anything, but... Eating's about the last thing I want to do right now. I know. I'll be back, Mia. I still have some prayers I want to say for you. That's sweet of Phyllis to want to take care of us. Yeah. She didn't know Teresa all that well, but... I think she really cared about her. Look out, Teresa. Lise, what is it? Look through the window. It's Teresa. She's in her coffin. She was just sitting up. Mama, she was just sitting up in her casket. That's not possible. Lise, you're just tired. Or am I? You said that you saw Teresa last night in your bedroom. Please. We are both exhausted. I would love nothing more than have my daughter back. But that's why I'm so grateful Antonio will be coming home. Oh, so you think that I'm losing it? No, no, I don't. But you have been through the same trauma that I have, and I think it will be best for both of us. Someone with a clear thinking head is here. Fine. Whatever makes you happy. Please, just don't be angry with him. How do you expect me to be civil to someone who doesn't even give a damn that his own sister was executed? 
All right, fine. You want to let him off the hook this time? Go ahead. Not me. Not this time. Not ever. You were taking out your anger with Antonia because of what happened to your sister. That is not it. I just have a real problem with him waltzing back in here with his bride-to-be, like everything's been great since he left. Luis, look, it's time for us to look to the future and not backwards, to the things that we cannot change. Now, a part of me died when I said died, but I have to stay strong because you and Beth are starting a new life, and so is Antonio with Diana. And I am praying to God that these marriages will be a new beginning for our family and an end to all this unjust suffering that we've endured. Thank you.